my third video and I will give a talk on composition of function. Please uh, watch the video up to the end. If a b j function from a to b, if a b j function from a to b and g is a function from b to c such that g o f is a function which is defined as by Now, there are three sets, set A, set B and set C. And let X is an arbitrary element of A, A and the image of X in B that is F of X and here the mapping is F and the here the FX is an element in the domain of F and its image is in C. And this is a G and G O F is a function from A to C. So what we see here, composition function is the combination of two functions. It is a function which domain is A and codomain is C. Now coming to the clear conception about F O G and G O F, they are the composition function and they are function. Now, G O F, the domain of domain of G O F is equal to domain of F. This is to remember, domain of G O F is domain of F coming to G O F where here the first F rule is applied, next G rule is applied, first F rule is applied, next G rule is applied and number 3, F O G, first G rule is applied, then F rule is applied and number 4, F O G is not equal to all the times of G O F, composition and function are not commutative always. Now, <coughs> coming to the NCRT problem, from set containing the elements 1, 3, 4 to the set containing element 1, 2, 5 and G is a function starting from, starts from the set 1, 2, 5 to set 1, 3 then given by F 1, 2, 3, 5, 4, 1 G 1, 3, 2, 3, 5, 1 we have to write down the GOF I have told you that GOF the domain of GOF is the domain of F now what is the domain of F domain of F is 1 by 3 so G O F of 1 that is G of F of 1 and G of F of 1 is 2 that is G of 2 and G of 2 is equal to 3. So what do we get 1 comma 3 is belongs to G O F. Now the element of the domain second element of the domain F is 3 that is G O F of 3 that G of F of 3 and that is G of f of 3, f of 3 is 5 and g of 5 is equal to 1 so what we get, we have taken 3 and we get the image 1 that is 3 1 belongs to g o f now the another element left out that is uh, 4, g o f 4 that is g of f of 4 and f of 4, 4 is 1 that is g of 1 and g of 1 is 3 so what do you get? We have taken the element 4 and we are getting 4, 3 belongs to GOF. So the domain of so the elements of GOF is uh, 1, 3 and 3, 1 and 4, 3. Then coming to problem number 2. 
Well, I have taken this problem from the uh, miscellaneous of NCIT question number 18. Here F is a real function and Fx uh, is a signal function that you observe and G is a real value function and it is a greatest integer function. We have to prove that Fog and GOF coincide on the minus 1 to 0, minus 1 close and 0 open. Now, starting from now, f of g of x and when x belongs to what you see here, when x belongs to minus 1 to 0, that is, then greatest integer of x is equal to minus 1. So, g of x is minus 1. f of minus 1, f of minus 1 is minus 1. Well, because minus 1 is less than 0. Now, coming to g of Now, here x belongs to minus 1 to 0, that is less than, so it is minus 1, f of x is minus 1 according to this rule given in the signal function. And g of minus 1 is, uh, that is integer of minus 1, that is equal to minus 1. So what do we observe? We observe that f of g, coincide on, Problem of this year, uh, J event 2020, 7 January 1st seat. Here the problem is Gx, x square plus x minus 1 and g of fx is 4x square minus 10x plus 5 and find f of 5 by 4. Now there are options but here what we see from the NCAT a little bit diversion but actually the same, it's not difficult. How we are saying? Solving this problem within few seconds. Watch carefully. Some intelligence you have to apply here. Now, coming to Gx, if you watch it carefully, it is a second degree e equation. Right? G of x is a second degree equation. And now, look at here, it is also a second degree equation. If you compare the both, G of x is second degree equation. So, fx must be, fx must be a linear function. fx must be a linear function fx cannot be a constraint and fx cannot be a quaternary function or more than that. So fx is a linear function and you know the format of the linear function is ax plus b. Now after finding this that your function actually f of 5 by 4, f of 5 by 4 in fx you have to find fx and in place of x you have to put 5 by 4. Now fx is equal to ax plus b. Now putting it here, g of ax plus b is same as g of fx and that will come out as 4x square minus 10x plus 5 and this one g of x square that is ax plus b whole square plus ax plus b minus 1 4x square minus 10x plus 5. Now, squaring it, by comparing the coefficients, now, by comparing the coefficients, now, look at x, a square x square and 4 x square, that is, a square is equal to 4 and a is equal to 2. Now, comparing coefficient of x on both the side, comparing coefficient of x on both the side, that is, it comes up 2xb plus ax is equal to x co coefficient of x in the right hand side is minus 3 and here comparing coefficients it comes 2ab plus a is equal to minus 10 and already you have got a is equal to 2 so 2 to the 4b plus 2 minus 10 so b is equal to minus 3 a is equal to 2 and b is equal to minus 3 now you want to find f of 5 by 4 and your fx comes out as ax plus b that is uh, 2x minus 3 that is 2 into 5 by 4 minus 3 it is uh, minus 1 by 2. Your answer is minus 1 by 2. So students this video comes to an end and uh, your sharing, likeness, hitting the bell icon will give me a boost. Thank you.